Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com, and nice people over at Premium Beat uh, letting me do a guest post on their blog. And this tutorial is about how to take dynamics of your voiceover and kind of smush it down a little bit to help mix in with the music that you're trying to overlay. The first thing I do is my voiceover, just personal preference, but I don't listen to the music while I record the voiceover. Next, I normalize the voice over track. I like to leave some headroom, so I usually don't like peaks on the meter going above minus 6 dB most of the time. If I get too close to 0 dB on the meter, I kind of know from experience that I'll usually get distortion if I like, watch it on my TV set. Before I bring in the music, I like to make my voiceover less dynamic. So in Premiere, I go to the Audio Mixing Control tab, and then I click on this somewhat hidden pull-down. Since I'm using a Rode video mic, which is not really a professional mic, and while it has some pretty nice low end, I feel that the upper frequencies, around 5 kHz, is kind of dull. So I usually like to add the treble effect and increase it about 4 dB. And I believe this effect uh, starts around 4K. And this helps my voice cut through the music better. I add in the dynamic effect. Starting at the top of the parameter is the automatic gate. This I've used before. But since I've got background music below me, I don't really need it to gate on and gate off. So, and I'm also recording it in a very quiet room, so I just basically leave it off. I turn the compressor on, and then I turn the threshold down to about minus 12 dB. That works pretty well for my voice. I usually like a ratio of about 2 to 1. I like a nice fast attack at 1 millisecond. And I leave the release time alone. I then turn the auto to on. This will calculate the release time based off the incoming signal. I then add 3 dB of gain to make up for the 2 to 1 compression. I skip the expander. I don't really need that for my voice. Moving on to the limiter, I turn this on. Since I like to keep the peaks to about a minus 6 and not hit the top of minus 6, that's where I set the threshold of the limiter, so I know my voice is not going to go over that. Watch here with no limiter. Versus having the limiter in place, this really helps out a ton mixing your voice with the music. I set the release to 50 milliseconds. However, sometimes I like to go longer, like 100 milliseconds, if it sounds like the limiter is just hitting it too hard. I then leave soft clip off because I'm nowhere close to clipping. The next thing I do is bring in the music from premium beat that matches the pace of my dialogue. I normally start with the music at about minus 18 dB on the slider. This depends on the music and it takes a few tries. I normally render out the video after listening to it on my speakers and then my headphones and then I listen to it on my iPhone as well and it takes a few tries to understand where the, the bed of the music fits in with your voice really well. And you have to listen to it on multiple devices. Speakers, headphones, you name it. It really helps out. All right, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks to Premium Beat for letting me be a guest post, blogger, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.